Welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday season review for 1996-7. A season which saw the Owls confound the bookies' odds and storm through the Premiership, finishing in seventh place. And it was a season which included a memorable cup run as Wednesday reached the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. The summer months were hectic as ever. Several players were on their way from Hillsborough. They included Mark de Greiser, Darko Kovacevic and goalkeeper Chris Woods. Coming into Hillsborough, centre-forward Andy Booth, midfield player Wayne Collins and Scott Oakes, and Sheffield-born Matthew Clark. Off the field, there were goodbyes to Richie Barker, Danny Bagara, and Mick Mills. Coming in were Peter Shreves as chief coach, Ricky Hill as the youth team coach, and former Elves favourite Martin Hodge as goalkeeping coach. Fans favourites Chris Waddle and Mark Bright would leave the club during the early months of the season. During this memorable summer, Hillsborough was proud to host Euro 96. For 10 days, the ground was turned red by the supporters of Denmark, Portugal, Croatia and Turkey. And so following a pre-season tour of Holland, Sheffield Wednesday's season was ready to begin. And the first month looked like this. With Wednesday starting at home against Aston Villa on August the 17th, we have highlights of every game from that month coming up now. Well, well intercepted by Wednesday, Blinker, Pembridge. Nolan's making a run outside him, finds Nolan now, good cut inside, Southgate clears, Southgate clears again. Good early play from Sheffield Wednesday. Now Southgate coming to Villa's rescue on two occasions there. Booth, good save, Oaks, pushed it wide, Andy Booth. The close season purchase from Huddersfield, nearly getting on the mark instantly for his new club. Just found the space, but Oakes denied him. Nolan has space to run at Aston Villa. Blinker. Humphreys. What a goal! Richie Humphreys has put Sheffield Wednesday ahead. And that truly was a splendid goal from Richie Humphreys. Caught it first time with a left foot volley. And Wednesday take the lead. The header on from Pembridge. And Humphreys struck it so sweetly. Fantastic start to the season for Sheffield Wednesday with a fantastic goal from Humphreys. Didn't he enjoy that? Blinker with the corner. Booth. Right clears it off the line. chance here for Wednesday Humphreys oh Oaks again saving Richie Humphreys having a great start to this game watch Alan Wright on the near post here clearing off the line and then the shot from Humphreys pushed away by Michael Oaks Blinker fully involved Nolan. Nolan forward again to Blinker. Gets the better of Southgate. Corner to Sheffield Wednesday. Southgate's not too happy about that. And Wednesday have the chance to put further pressure on the visitors. Take them quickly. Blinker. Whittingham. It's over Oaks. 
and Wednesday have increased their advantage to two. Blinkers cross, Guy Whittingham scores against his former club, and it's 2-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. The ball floated in over everybody except Guy Whittingham, who met it well. Time running out for Villa to get back into this game. Alan Wright. Johnson! He's pulled back a goal, but with two minutes left, is it only a consolation goal? Tommy Johnson. Pembridge will take this corner. Whittingham appeals for handball. Whittingham's incensed. Let's have a look again. Well, Whittingham gets a firm header in. Now, I don't think that did strike the hand of the Leeds defender. Torrential rain here. Palmer. Wednesday will surely pick up possession now with Pembridge. Blinker, good turn. That's a nice turn again. And what is Blinker going to do with this? Just loses out. Although his persistence gives Wednesday possession once more. Humphreys, 1-0! And Richie Humphreys has scored for the second successive match as Sheffield Wednesday take the lead in the Yorkshire Derby. And that goal really owed everything to the persistence of Reggie Blinker. He tormented the Leeds defence and Humphreys was left in space and he put his shot just wide of Nigel Martin. Blinker. having a good game tonight Nolan's on the overlap good cross in Humphreys well he was always leaning backwards for that effort but Wednesday combining well Lee Sharp or Leeds he's gone through that crowd of players Lee Sharp can he equalise oh how did that not go in Palmer weak shot really well intercepted by Pressman. Hart loses out. Blinker. That's a wonderful ball to release Andy Booth. Booth is clear and scores his first goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Reggie Blinker with the angled pass straight into the path of Andy Booth. And Wednesday 2-0 ahead. This is a good show of pace from the Colombian. Brought down. He was, says the referee. Stefanovic bringing down Aspria in the penalty area. And Aspria's pace causing all sorts of problems to the Wednesday defence. Stefanovic comes across. There's clearly contact. Alan Shearer has scored one goal already this season for Newcastle. He makes it two. Newcastle take the lead. they do to get back into this game they have a free kick David Batty not too pleased with that decision Wednesday sending the tall defenders up there into the area also bringing plenty of bodies back to defend Atherton is equalised Peter Atherton, the Sheffield Wednesday captain, scores for Wednesday just two minutes after Alan Shearer had given Newcastle the lead. It was a well-floated in free kick, and Atherton met it. He timed his run to perfection. Atherton making his run forward, just got a little bit of space. Pressman comes out well. 
Maria has certainly caused problems for Wednesday this afternoon. Ten minutes left. Oh, the header straight into the path of Whittingham. He's got time, and he scores. And Wednesday have taken a 2-1 lead. The defensive mistake, and Guy Whittingham made the most of it to send the visiting fans into raptures. Whittingham's goal, but it all came from this poor header. It went straight to Guy Whittingham. He put his shot in well. Sheffield Wednesday, two wins in their opening two matches. Are they going to make it three out of three? A great start for Wednesday, who, following three straight wins, were top of the table. And making his debut in that match was Orlando Trustful, who'd signed from Feyenoord. September arrived, and what a hectic month it proved to be, the Coca-Cola Cup adding to an already busy league schedule. It began well, however, at home to Leicester City. Putting them to his right, Rube and Hurst central. Well, that was a dangerous ball, straight to Blinker, and Keller to the rescue. Walsh's mistake. Well, that was a suicide pass, wasn't it? Across his own goal. And he was looking to get away with that, it was good positioning from Keller. Perhaps Blinker could have taken it on, he had a two-on-one situation with Hurst. Three on the left, led it to shoot, straight in the hands of Keller. Difficult ball there for the goalkeeper, Stefanovic playing it almost suicidally short and Kevin Pressman had to sprint from his goal. Here's Whitler. Heskey trying to use his strength, but again Walker used his pace and judgment to beat him to it. Humphreys. Booth had to come back, he would have been offside if Humphreys had played the ball to him then. But Humphreys has done well here and a great chip! Is he really a beginner at this level? You'd never guess it. Richie Humphreys gets his third goal in four games and looks as though he's been playing in the Premiership for about ten years. What a fantastic goal. When he was coming forward, he always wanted to get onto his left foot. He didn't want to try anything with his right. Little jink onto his left foot. Looks to see where the keeper is. Absolutely brilliant chip. of that wonderful Poborski goal for the Czech Republic during the European Championships delivered with precision, accuracy and absolute arrogance from a young man who is far from that David Fleet saying he's so level-headed he's not afraid at all to pitch him in the side so early in his career and so early in Wednesday's season and you can see why here we have a very special talent indeed Wicklow, Claridge, now is it? Heskey trying to show his skill, but Atherton stayed very tight. Well, we featured the two teenagers before the kickoff. Daniel Heskey's got something to do to match what Humphreys has achieved. But he's quite capable of it, I can tell you that. Here's Claridge trying to bring one back. Oh! I don't believe it. We've seen a goal that matches the wondrous effort from Humphreys at the other end. Only a couple of minutes apart, Trevor. Yeah, two similar goals in many ways. The defender backing off. On this occasion, it's Watts. That's a delicious chip from Humphreys. Absolutely brilliant skill. On this occasion, Stavanovic has been attacked by Claridge. He backs off as well. Left foot into the roof of the net. Stavanovic. That's an excellent ball for Boone. Chance here. Another magnificent goal at Hillsborough. So simple, so effective. Yes, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday will smile, but it's not good defending from Leicester. A straight ball gets him behind Watts. 
but an excellent finish again from Boo. But really, that is poor defending. Shouldn't be being like that on a straight ball. He's late with his tackle, his Watts. Keller comes out to narrow the angle. Boo, he's on the stretch. But it's a great goal. So a great start to his Wednesday career for Andy Booth since signing from Huddersfield Town. Was he pleased with the start he'd made for Sheffield Wednesday? Yeah, it's always nice to, to beat Leeds and especially to score against them being their local rivals. And it would, yeah, it's always nice to strike to get an early goal and I was lucky to get one in my second game. And you got another one straight away against Leicester? Yeah, yeah, our live television on Sky. I, I would, I would just have to get it, it's always nice to score a goal, but to get two out of three games, I was, well, I was very happy. So that fourth straight win meant it was Wednesday's best start to a season for 60 years, but the early success came to a temporary halt when Wednesday were beaten 2-0 at home to Chelsea. Then away at Highbury, Arsenal put four past an underpar Wednesday with Andy Booth claiming his fourth goal of the season, a small consolation. Next came the Coca-Cola Cup and with John Newsom starting for the first time that season and Orlando Trustful making his full debut, Wednesday took the lead in the 13th minute courtesy of Guy Whittingham. But a last gasp equaliser came for the visitors as Oxford striker Paul Moody burst through to level the match in the 86th minute. There followed a difficult period in the league with Wednesday failing to live up to their great start and a shock exit from the Coca-Cola Cup which left fans wondering if and when things would start to turn around. Matters continued to look gloomy as the Owls began October with a tricky away match at Selhurst Park, the opposition, Wimbledon. Pressman. Koku challenging, and Koku has won the ball, and Wimbledon have taken the lead after three minutes. Effen Koku puts the home side ahead. Well, what sort of reply can Wednesday give after going a goal down so early on? Booth, that's a reply. Wednesday equalising straight from the kickoff. Andy Booth, what a start to the season he's having. Wednesday striking back immediately. Blinker involved. It fell kindly to Andy Booth, who used his muscle to find the space and equalise it. Wimbledon restore their lead. Billy Jones with the long throw in. Leonardson, 3 1. Trustful for Wednesday. Finds Blinker. Hurst. Hyde, 3 2. Julian Hyde. Getting on the end of that header from David Hurst. 72 minutes gone. Can Wednesday mount a fight back now? Jones is in space. 4-2. So no points again, but spirits soared during that week when David Pleat completed a club record signing for Italian forward Benito Carbone from Inter Milan. Our reporter John Helm spoke to Benito and asked him if he was happy to have joined the Owls. Yes, I'm uh, very happy. Uh, uh, the football good? The football, yes, good, but uh, it's different uh, in English the, the Italy. Uh, but now, now very, very good for me. Yeah. Is Serie A better than English or is English better than Serie A for you? Oh, it's the same, it's same. No, no, not different. It's uh, uh, good in Italy, good uh, in England. Was it very difficult for you coming here to Sheffield? 
No, not very difficult. Uh, difficult uh, for uh, for language, for, uh, because I don't speak English. Now my English is better. No, not very good English, but it's better. No, 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 it's better than my Italian. <laughs> we know that already. The next visitors, Blackburn, were having a slow start to their season, and Owls fans were delighted when some fine play between Hurst and Booth led to a third-minute goal. Booth, his fifth of the season. And Andy Booth has made a dream start to his Sheffield Wednesday career. David Hurst with the cross. And Booth, given the time and the space to knock the ball in. Having claimed the point in a nil-nil draw against Coventry City, Wednesday moved into November, where the fixtures began with two home matches, the first against Southampton. Trustful. Carbone's made a wonderful run down this right-hand side. Will he shoot or cross? He shoots off the line from Neil Madison. Atherton. Carboni picks up, Oaks, will he curl one? He does! Unlucky. Scott Oaks so, so close to opening the scoring this afternoon. Corner's too far for everybody. Pembridge, trustful. Newsom, he's stolen on the blind side. Southampton didn't pick him up, and John Newsom gives Sheffield Wednesday the lead. The cross from Orlando, trustful. Newsom heads it in. Austin Tad. Nolan appeared to come across him, and the referee agrees he's given a penalty. Letizia equalises, one all. Latherwick under pressure here, scrambles it clear, and the supporters recognising that Sheffield Wednesday have made an excellent start to this match. Could have had goals. Nolan's cross right-footed. Oh, it was a good save again. Newsom can't believe that Crossley got down to that. John Newsom gets a big header at the far post. Out jumps Stuart Pearce. Missed kick there from Peter Atherton. But trustful, possibly been the best player for Sheffield Wednesday. Makes no mistake, little side foot. Plenty of bodies there on the line. We make sure. Link up for Sheffield Wednesday. They lead 1 0. Trustful, the goal scorer. Blinker. Booth offside, it won't count.
Well, it must have been very tight, Alan, but it's good play once again from Trustful. Blinker gets it underneath his feet, but looks up, just slips Booth in. Is he offside? No, he's not. No, he is not. Pembridge. Trustful lets it run on. Carboni. Trustful again. Now high. Booth, and in behind him was Blinker. a contender for miss of the season he couldn't have been more than about a foot away from the goal line well this is unbelievable little cipher from blinker onto the post back heel well, how did forest escape with that carboni finds him again he just got his foot caught there booed by the challenge from cooper He's limping away as the play goes on. Nolan. Blinker. Well, that's an excellent play by Pembridge. Oakes has come in on the far post. He's back to Carboni! Oh, yes! A bit of Italian magic. And Sheffield Wednesday have clinched the points now. Delightful play from Pembridge, great awareness, just clips it around little, waits for the support, great shot, Crosley no chance, it's only what Sheffield Wednesday deserve, we have dominated this game from start to finish, should be more than two, but now the game's won for them. Carboni's first goal in English football, and Hillsborough's Foreign Legion have clinched them the three points tonight. Trustful and Carboni, the Dutchman and the Italian, each getting their first goal in Wednesday colours. And as Trevor has so rightly said, no more than the home team deserve. So first goals there for both Trustful and Carboni. The fans were enchanted with the skill of both, and Carboni was enjoying the adoration. I know his supporters is Sheffield, the very supporters. Uh, if uh, if team uh, last, if team win. Always uh, support us. Yeah. In uh, another uh, another team, uh, not same, not same. Okay. I was commentating when you scored the goal here against Nottingham Forest. That oh, must yeah. have been a marvelous moment for you. <laughs> it's the first goal. Yeah, uh, is uh, very happy because uh, uh, after four or five games, uh, I. Uh, I, I. You wanted a goal. I wanted you needed goal, to yeah. score a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my English. No, no, no. You're doing finish, very good. Finish my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Blinker was suspended by FIFA whilst they investigated his contractual affairs, and in stepped Scott Oakes for the match at Sunderland. Carbone. Oakes. One nil. What a great shot from Scott Oakes, and doesn't he like that? Wednesday under a bit of pressure. Melville equalises for Sunderland. November ended with a home scoreless draw against West Ham United. But ahead for December were some very tempting fixtures as the Owls took on Liverpool, Manchester United, Tottenham, Arsenal and Chelsea in one month. Well, by now he'd got five goals under his belt but was life in the Premier League turning out to be all that Andy Booth had expected? I've learnt a lot. You're playing against world-class international players, and it, it helps. It helps tremendously. Like you, you played against them there, you know what they know what you're doing. You know what they're doing in the end, and it's just it's just brilliant. Yeah. Is there a match that stands out for you in the season? Uh, I think it's got to be Liverpool. To be honest. We all went there. We we're probably hoping for a 1-1, 0-0 draw if we could scrape that. And coming out with a 1-0 victory, it was well, fantastic. And like, no, 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 we could believe it. it got us back going on a, a run we had. Wednesday have an early opportunity. What can they make of this free kick? Pembridge. James is down well to save it. Liverpool 
try and clear. Wednesday pick up possession once more. Booth, just wide. Good chance for Andy Booth. Pembridge, Nichols made the overlap. Saved by James. Nichols close to scoring against his former club. Wednesday's performance so far, well worth making a song and dance about. That's an easy ball for Nolan to pick up for Wednesday. Booth is upfield, but the target is found. Raberne, what can he do now? Left foot shot, well blocked. Liverpool will surely clear this one. No, straight to Peter Atherton. Carbone, Pembridge, Whittingham, Wednesday lead, Guy Whittingham's interception, David James could only get a hand to it, and Guy Whittingham has given Sheffield Wednesday a 22nd minute lead at Anfield. The shot from Pembridge, Whittingham just got there, James, unfortunately from Liverpool's point of view, couldn't keep it out, though he did get a hand to it. Whittingham putting Wednesday ahead. Maybe Fleek's pleased with that. Pressman will gather this. A slip, and McAteer has a chance. Off the post, Fowler. Well saved, Pressman. Well, the slip on the turf by the Wednesday defender. McAteer had the long-range shot, and Fowler was nearly there with the rebound. Thomas, Berger, good save by Pressman. Kevin Pressman, good game so far today. That'll have pleased David Fleet. courtesy of the early goal from Guy Whittingham. Pembridge, just wide. Kept the shot low. Nolan with the throw. That's a second chance. Carbone! Well, it was spectacular. No real problem for James. Nicole. Booth off the post with James stranded. Wednesday nearly made it 2 0. Liverpool have broken quickly though. Berger to McAteer. Fowler. Fowler well saved. Pressman to the rescue again for Sheffield Wednesday. Nickel. Winker. Nichols made the return run. It's fallen free to Booth. Good save by James again. It's been a good performance from Wednesday. And they truly deserve the points. And so having put an end to Liverpool's 13-month unbeaten home record, the Owls were in confident mood to take on the next visitors. Champions, Manchester United. A tremendous atmosphere at Hillsborough. Wednesday with Carbone. Good run forward. Booth in space. Just wide. Michael watched it go past his left-hand post. The chip by Carbone was delightful. But the header just not finding its right target. A free kick left for Carbone. Saved by Schmeichel. United clear it away. Just flicked backwards to Carboni. A fierce right foot shot. Michael got down to it. Giggs for United. Header from Scholes. Well saved by Pressman. The Wednesday keeper had to be at his best there. Scholes' header was going in, no doubt about that. 
well pushed over. Pallister. Pembridge challenging him for the ball and Pembridge wins it. Good save from Schmeichel. Whittingham. Schmeichel desperate to save that one. Pembridge missed it. United clear it away for a corner. Pembridge is shot. Schmeichel with the save. Whittingham in acres of space. And then Pembridge missed the follow-up. Rabone. Dude. Whittingham. Hyde. Julian Hyde's in space. Schmeichel saves. United clear it away. Danger not yet over though. Wednesday still go forward. Irwin tidies up with Schmeichel. Plenty of space for Hyde. It just struck Peter Schmeichel. Nolan. Carbone. Turns Pallister well. Good shot. He's always curling away from the goal though. Wednesday, an excellent start to this game. United with Nicky Butt. Solskjaer, yet again. Gives away possession though to Trustful. A good run forward from Trustful. Carboni and Booth have made runs. He picks out Carboni. 1 0 to Wednesday. 57 minutes gone. His second goal for the Hillsborough side. And it gives Wednesday the lead over the Premiership champions. A delightful curling shot from Benito Carbone. Trustful made the goal, though. A lovely pass. Carbone was given far too much space by the United defence. Placed the shot wide of Schmeichel. Carbone receives the ball back again. Good turn by the Wednesday goal scorer. Trustful. Has a crack. Only just wide. Good low shot from Trustful. Solskjaer. Scholes! What an equaliser! Paul Scholes fired that one past Kevin Pressman. 1-1. One, one. It was a good all-round performance capped by Ian Nolan's first goal of the season which arrived in the 16th minute following a neat touch from Pembridge and Nolan's shot whistled past Ian Walker's right hand. Spurs came in for the equaliser courtesy of Alan Nielsen, the Danish international, and the points were shared. Following a 0-0 draw against Arsenal on Boxing Day, Wednesday played the last match of the year against Chelsea. Three Italians were on show, and the Italian national manager arrived to study form. Hughes, danger here for Wednesday. Zola! 1-0 to Chelsea. Carbone. Loses out there. Hullet with the interception for the home side. Zola's made a good run down this right-hand side. Hughes is in the middle, and Hughes makes it two. So what can Wednesday do about this? 2-0 down. 23 minutes of the game having been played. Nolan. Laid away by the Chelsea defence, only as far as Pembridge, and that's the reply. Wednesday immediately back in the game. Mark Pembridge, the goal scorer. Nolan's cross was cleared away, but Pembridge from distance hit it first time left footed past Broder. Pembridge. Aggressive play from Sheffield Wednesday. Carbone. Pembridge again. Hits the post, and Booth, oh, how did he miss that? The follow-up 
fell kindly to Andy Booth, but somehow he hit it straight at the goalkeeper. We're into injury time. The Wednesday have one last opportunity to get an equaliser. Hollett clears away for Chelsea as far as Stefanovic. Rodash holds it. No, he doesn't. Has that gone in? Wednesday put it in anyway. And Stefanovic has equalised in the final minute for Sheffield Wednesday. Rodash couldn't hold the shot. It was a fierce shot. Rodash parries it. The ball goes over the line there. Wednesday knock it in anyway. 2-2. Two -two. That result meant Wednesday were unbeaten in the last 11 games. And so the new year arrived, bringing with it the FA Cup and the opposition Grimsby Town. Denbridge. Wednesday have the chance to build now. The keeper's come a long way. This is Humphreys. He'll put Wednesday ahead with that shot. The Grimsby keeper well off his line. Humphreys scores. Nice ball out to the touchline, Whittingham. Can he put a cross in? He can. Booth, 2-0. Andy Booth's predatory instincts get him another goal. Booth, Blinker's made the run outside him. Finds Blinker. Humphreys is in the middle. It's an own goal. Bickling has put it into his own net. Humphreys is claiming it, but that's definitely an own goal. Atherton. Whittingham. Humphreys. His second of the match. 4-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Humphreys intercepts. Booth. Out wide to Whittingham. Hyde's coming behind everybody. And Hyde makes it five. Oster for Grimsby. Up against Nolan. Chips it in. Oh, delightful goal for the first division side by substitute John Oster. Trustful. Turns his man well. Whittingham. Who's going to find it? Who does? 6-1. Whittingham. Good one, two with Nickel. Whittingham back. Pembridge. 7-1. Wednesday through to round four. So that fine display notched up the Owls' biggest FA Cup win for 65 years. And then back to the league, an evenly matched fixture with Everton and Wednesday, both on 28 points. Humphreys can nip in here. Everton clear it away. Wishing them challenging hard for the ball. Wednesday have another chance to pump the ball into the Everton penalty area. This has fallen free for Pembridge. Well saved by Southall, who gathers at the second attempt. forward for Wednesday. Barrett, it's a poor header. Watson has to come across and cover. Barrett, dispossessed though by Wednesday. This is Humphreys. Oh, that's a delightful chance, really, for Richie Humphreys. It was from a fairly narrow angle, and he tried for the shot with Southall just off his line, but the veteran goalkeeper pushed it wide. Bridge, putting and turning, fouled by Speed. Well, Wednesday optimistically asking for a penalty, but it is a free kick just outside the area. Everton bringing, well, virtually everybody back. They have half a dozen players in the wall there, the visitors. And what might Wednesday try here? Hides over the ball, this is Pembridge, who scores! Wednesday take the lead through Mark Pembridge after 22 minutes. And despite the bodies in the wall, Pembridge found a gap. And despite Neville Southall, Pembridge found the net. On 21 minutes, Mark Pembridge. Ooh. Lays it wide nicely 
for Nickel. Whittingham. Pembridge. And that nearly, nearly tested Neville Southall. Only a couple of feet over that from Mark Pembridge. Near the ball away, hides in there battling for it. Now a chance possibly for Wednesday to break with David Hurst. Humphreys made a good run ahead of him. Richie Humphreys squares the ball back for David Hurst, and that is 2 0. David Hurst released by Richie Humphreys. And good combination play between the two of them. Southall was possibly expecting the shot from Humphreys, instead it was a cross, and Hurst scores. Barrett for Everton. We really need a goal to get back into this game. Ferguson, they've got it! 2-1 now to Wednesday. High. Lovely ball to Hurst, good save from Southall. Ravinelli. Good ball in from Ravinelli. Oh, and more penalty as Sabanovic must surely go. 22-year-old Yugoslav making his 24th league appearance. And it'll be a red... Oh, he's got a yellow card. And the fans won't like that. Ravinelli up against Kevin Pressman. Whoa. Pressman went to his right. The ball went straight through. And Ravinelli almost kicks the ball out of the Selnet Riverside Stadium. So, Janino with the corner kick. Beck right on the goal line. Here he is with the header. Oh, 2-0! Oh, what a debut! Debut for this man. And Beck's pass intercepted well. Humphreys on the run. Oh, and Humphreys has ridden the challenge. A chance here. Good block first. Chance for two on. Brilliantly taken by Mark Pembridge. The first challenge didn't come off. And Pembridge strikes 28 minutes into this game. Must know. Emerson! Oh, what a shot! What a save! Oh, my word! A thunderous shot coming in there from Emerson. Beck's in the middle. Can he get the cross in? Oh, Jess Walker there with a the clearance. And that's a penalty! Yes, and it's given! Yes! Linker! Oh, and uh, it came off the foot of Booth and went away. Linker again. Good ball in from him. Pembridge is there. He scores. Pembridge gets his second of the afternoon. His ninth goal of the season. You had a brilliant time personally around about Christmas, didn't you? Yeah, I think I scored um, about uh, five, five goals around about Christmas time. Yeah, it's very pleasing. Obviously, um, we could have picked a few more points up over over Christmas. I think. Yeah. Were any of those goals special for you? Um, I think I think the one at Chelsea was uh, was one that stuck in my mind because um, at the time we was we was two 0 down and we was getting uh, getting getting beat quite badly, you know. So to get straight back in it as well, and obviously the result that day was good because we we scraped the goal in the last minute, and um, I think team spirit was at its highest then. In the fourth round of the FA Cup, it was an all-British lineup that took the field for Wednesday, with places for John Newsom and Wayne Collins. And the Owls fans were celebrating by the 11th minute when Whittingham headed firmly home from Mark Pembridge's left wing cross. Two minutes after half time, the tie was effectively settled when Pembridge set Ian Nolan free on the left and he found Booth completely unmarked in front of goal to plant a downward header. Four days later, and a midweek fixture at Villa Park with Atherton and Stefanovic back in the starting lineup. An opportunity then for Dwight York to give Aston Villa the lead. Kevin Pressman facing him. And Pressman pushed it wide. An excellent save from the Wednesday keeper. Nicole. At the 
Hamilton forward to Whittingham. Whittingham loses out but has a second opportunity now. Guy Whittingham. Oh, just cleared away. Booth! Andy Booth latching on a poor defensive bit of play from Aston Villa. And Booth has given Wednesday the lead. Guy Whittingham making the goal. February began with a 0-0 draw at home to Coventry and then it was time to reunite with Chris Waddle as the Owls went to Valley Parade for the fifth round FA Cup tie against Bradford. The only goal was made by David Hurst and scored by Richie Humphreys. Away fixtures continued, this time it was off to play the Owls' last ever game at the baseball ground which would be knocked down at the end of the season as Derby County moved to a new home. Trollope through for Derby, can he score? Oh, he's put it wide. A missed opportunity. Carbone. Humphreys. Just loses out. Next they have the throw. McGrath. Oh, it doesn't clear it well, and Wednesday have pounced. Wayne Collins has put Sheffield Wednesday into the lead. Paul McGrath failing to clear for the home side. He heads it there. The ball doesn't really rise properly for him. And Collins was in. Nolan's made a run down the wing. It's a good run by Nolan. He beats his man. Humphreys! Oh, how did he miss that? The cross from Nolan right across the face of goal and somehow Humphreys just couldn't connect. That's foul for Derby. Hasanovic. The header goes in, a good save by Pressman. Wednesday keeper had to be at his sharpest there. Foul. Danger here for Wednesday. Kasanovic. Sturridge. Oh, Sturridge has scored! How unlucky can Kevin Pressman be? That ball coming off his back into the goal. Darby pressurising the Wednesday goal again. The header comes in and it's just gone in the corner. Igor Stimak. Creeping the ball in past Pressman. A real glue pot of a pitch here at the baseball ground this afternoon. Wednesday looking for the equaliser. Pembridge. Lovely ball through to David Hurst. Hurst is in space. Hurst equalises. David Hurst makes it 2 2. Mark Pembridge with the ball through. And Hurst kept his composure and kept alert with only the keeper to beat. He made sure the ball found its rightful destination. Continuing with the away fixtures and the team made the long journey to Southampton. This time Hurst made the starting lineup. With Des Walker out of the team for injury, Wednesday's 27-year unbeaten league run at the Dell looked like it might be coming to an end when the Owls found themselves 2-0 down after 33 minutes. Wednesday looking for a way back into this game. Blinker is challenging Van Hobbel. For Jilton. Blinker's persistence probably paying off there for Wednesday's. David Hurst! Hurst pulls the goal back. And David Hurst scores for the second successive game. Ball to this near side. Steve Nichol. He plays it back. Hurst is in space once more. Can he score a second? He can. David Hurst equalises for Sheffield Wednesday, ten minutes into the second half. Booth, Hurst, Blinker. Still Blinker, this is Pembridge. Lovely run on the outside. Made by Nolan. Booth's in space. And Booth 
gives Sheffield Wednesday a 3-2 lead. Well, that David Hurst comeback was pleasing to the supporters. David's the first to admit that his injury problems and lack of form are a worry to him. I've had some great times at Sheffield, uh, and I still think I've, I've got great times in front of me. Uh, like I said, the fans are probably getting a little bit frustrated with the injuries I've had, but I mean, I, I, they can believe me that they're not getting as frustrated as what I am. And I'd like to prove it to them again, and like you say, the manager and, and the rest of the staff. During March, the club were looking forward to a big FA Cup tie against Wimbledon, but started in the league against Brian Robson's Middlesbrough. Carbone. Poor ball by him. Musto picks it up for Middlesbrough. Burrow, though, lose out. This is Pembridge. He threw ball to David Hurst. Well, it was high and wide, but Hurst really has found his scoring boots since returning from injury. Walker intercepts for Wednesday. Atherton, Carbone, Hurst, Carbone again, Hurst once more, Carbone, Hurst has continued the run. Good play there between Hurst and Carbone. Walker tidies up. Emerson goes for the ball. Cox can't clear it. And Cox has to chase back now against Pembridge. Pembridge has possession. The cross is good. And it's a goal. Andy Boo, his 11th of the season. Wednesday lead. Mark Pembridge making the goal with the cross. And Boo stolen at the near post. Pembridge here. Playing a lot of determination against Cox. And Boo the ride here. Nickel with the throw. Carbone. Forward to Boo. Hide. 2-0, two, two minutes to go to half-time, and Julian Hyde increases Wednesday's advantage. It looks as though Andy Booth might have the scoring opportunity. It fell instead to Julian Hyde. And he hit it well. looking to change direction of the play. They do so well. This is Pembridge. Oh, a good chance here for David Hurst. Hurst is through. And somehow he missed that. Quite how he did that. I don't think he can quite believe it either. Ravanelli. Musto. Chance this for Middlesbrough. Emerson, Musto again. Oh, it's there. Whether Robbie Musto will claim it or it'll be an own goal, we'll have to wait and see. Wednesday only moments away from another home victory. We're in the final minute. Vickers, oh, poor pass. Booth is there. Vickers surely holding him. Well, the referee doesn't quite know, he's off to see his assistant. It is a penalty. Vickers holding Andy Boo. And Mark Pembridge will surely take the spot kick and miss the chance to put the result beyond any reasonable doubt. Here comes Pembridge. 3-1. Another three points for Wednesday. Mark Pembridge with the third goal and another good win for the home side. Well, we seem to go out now with the belief that, you know, we're not going to lose. Um, you know, at home games it's important that we win. The away games, you know, a draw to a win is, is important and that's how we feel and that's how we approach it. 
the lads are full of confidence, things are going well, um, and we seem to be, you know, getting the results. Reggie Blinker claimed a rare starting place in the next game against Forest, and partnering Booth up front once again is Hurst. Wednesday with a good chance. Oh, it's well over. It's a good early play by the Owls. Roy. That's a dangerous back pass to play. And Wednesday nearly take the lead and do take the lead. Benito Carbone puts them ahead. Ryan Roy's back pass, though, led to all sorts of trouble for the home side. And Carbone, well, he took full advantage of that. Roy's back pass. Carbone nipped in. There were no defenders around him. 1 0 to Wednesday. Pierce with the throw. Oh, it goes out. Nothing, nothing at all going right for Nottingham Forest this season. That's typifying their campaign so far. Nolan with the throw to Carbone. Not forward long. This is for Booth to chase. Good cross in. Blinker! His first goal of the season. Reggie Blinker increasing Wednesday's lead. And doesn't he love that? On the score sheet at last. Booth with the low cross, pulled back nicely, and Blinker arrived. Blinker, buoyed up by that goal, no doubt. And Wednesday had a third. This is Carbone. Good cross, Booth. Just over. Oh, hits the bar. Not yet over for Nottingham Forest. Pembridge. Oh, and how did that go over from Carbone? He can't believe it. Two good chances for Wednesday. Yes. Forest goes out again. This is Humphreys. Comes off the keeper. It's there. 3-0. Carbone makes it three. Two goals for him in this game. And Wednesday lead by three goals to nil. Humphreys had the initial run forward. His shot was blocked. It ballooned up in the air, but fell so nicely for Benito Carbone. David Pleat's job was to lift the team and help them overcome their demoralising FA Cup defeat to Wimbledon. He had just three days to do so as the league fixtures rumbled on and with a possible place in Europe still to play for. Pressure from Sunderland here. Hurst clears it away for Wednesday. Second opportunity though for the visitors to put in a telling cross. Cleared away only as far as ball! And Kevin Ball has put Sunderland into the lead. Carbone. Matty Line in new footwear for this game. Booth knocks it back. Cambridge. Briscoe. Falls nicely to Whittingham. Blocked in the end by the Sunderland defence. Whittingham tries again and wins a corner. Andy Booth struggling a little bit there. Looks like a problem with his ankle. What can Wednesday make of this corner? Booth. Hurst. Turns well and equalises. Delightful goal from David Hurst. The corner was floated deep. Booth headed it back across goal. And Hurst had his back towards goal, a quick turn, a right foot shot, Wednesday level. Hurst again, left foot shot, oh that's not too far wide. Carbone. And Nolan. 
on his byline. It's the cross in, cleared away by Sunderland. Good play from Ian Nolan. He leaves the corner for Mark Pembridge. Nolan has stayed in close proximity though and receives the ball back. Pembridge once more. Has a shot, well saved by Paris. Stefanovic! Wednesday ahead. Stevanovic gets the goal that the Wednesday pressure merited. Cambridge coming across, having initially taken the corner. The save from Perez. Stevanovic, well, he was totally unmarked. Booth lets it run to Carbone. He gives away possession. Sunderland can build. Good tackle. Carboni picks up the ball once more for Wednesday. Oh, Perez coming back just to scoop that one over the bar at the final moment. Carbone free, spotted the keeper was off his line slightly. Might have got a slight deflection, and Perez had to be at full stretch. So it was good fortune for the Owls as Stefanovic's trip to join his Yugoslavian teammates was cancelled due to fog at the airport. Thus, he was unexpectedly available not only to play, but to score that winning goal. That fourth consecutive league win put Wednesday into fifth place. Next came the Owls' second defeat of the year, though, losing to Manchester United at Old Trafford. Peter Atherton was out for a one-match ban and John Newsom confirmed as out for the rest of the season when Leeds visited Hillsborough. Lee Sharp might have a go and scores! Lee Sharp putting Leeds ahead in the Yorkshire derby. Carbone, two Leeds players around him. Wednesday win a corner. Well, he looks as though he'll uh, take it himself. Floated in, Hurst. 1-1! One, one. A lovely angle header from David Hurst. Nigel Martin beaten. Hurst's sixth goal of the campaign. And it really was a lovely header. Carboni's corner. Met firmly by David Hurst. Look at the power in that jump. Field. Brian Dean wins possession. Wallace is through. Bowie is there as well. Wallace! Oh, it's gone in. Desperate for Kevin Pressman. Wallace possibly mishit that shot. Molinar heads it clear. Managing David Hurst. Carbone with the throw in. Briscoe. Briscoe receives it back. Carbone. Good ball in. Booth. Andy Booth equalises. Wednesday back in this game for a second time. Having trailed 1 0, they were back to 1 1. They trailed 2 1. Now they're back to 2 2. Carbone cutting back inside there. Look at Booth just pull off his man. First time control into the net. Carbone. On ball forward to David Hurst. Hurst controls it well. Martin saves. The goalkeeper standing up well to that shot from David Hurst. Hurst takes the ball down well, controls it on his chest. Right foot shot. Martin was well positioned. There was an 18-day layoff in the Premier League before the fixtures in April, and three out of those four games were home matches. Cambridge. The ball forward for David Hurst to chase. Hurst has got space, bearing down on Walker. The ball goes wide. Hurst claims it came off the Tottenham goalkeeper. But I don't think the referee is going to hear anything of that. Booth 
intercepts for Wednesday. Sending Hurst clear, Sol Campbell in with the challenge. Bundling David Hurst over, is that a foul? It is indeed. And Wednesday have a free kick in a promising position on the far side. Flicked in nicely, Boo. Atherton. Oh, Atherton scored! His second goal of the season. And that really flew off his boot. Past Ian Walker into the Tottenham net. The Wednesday captain with a truly spectacular goal. Pressman. Good long clearance. Hurst is underneath it. Whittingham through to Carbone. Carboni twists and turns his way around. The chance comes in, saved by Walker, saved again, and Pembridge was twice denied by the Tottenham goalkeeper. Carbone with the cross. Pembridge's first effort striking Walker, his second effort smothered. Tottenham lose out again. Carbone faced by Campbell. The ball goes through to Booth. And Booth makes it two. Booth's 13th goal of the season. And he took it well. Carbone the provider. And Wednesday emphatically ahead. Carbone made it. Campbell turned inside out. Brown Walker and an easy job to slot it in. So a fine strike from Peter Atherton, whose move from defence to midfield this season has been a revelation. And he puts the team's success down to hard graft. It's just general hard work. The lads have, have been keen to work. They've listened to the coaches, to the manager, and basically done what he's asked. So it's been good from that point of view. The start that you made, you beat Villa, you scored at Newcastle. I mean, that was a big moment for you. <laughs> yeah, don't normally get two for the same club, so um, <laughs> always nice to score. Um, but yeah, like I said, they were, they were very big games and a lot of people expect us to lose all four. Shearer makes his way inside the Wednesday penalty area, getting behind the defence. Elliot! Well, he bundled the ball in and Newcastle are ahead. Good long clearance. Newcastle though get it away. Wednesday intercept. Atherton. Nickel and Carbone combining down this near side. This is Whittingham. Carbone once more. His pace takes him on. Keeps the ball in. Pembridge! 1 1! Mark Pembridge with his seventh goal of the season. And Wednesday a level. Good build up from the home side. Carbone did so well to keep the ball in play. And his cross was delivered perfectly for Pembridge to meet first time. Just look how Carbone just keeps that ball in play. And Pembridge met it with a first time volley. Football, as we know, is a cruel business, and since their last visit to Hillsborough, the Don season had seemingly drawn to a sad conclusion as they went out of both cup competitions at the semi-final stage. Carbone receives the ball back again. Nice interplay from Wednesday. Carbone's in some space, just over. Well, he really has entertained the Hillsborough faithful this season. Nolan, out wide to Blinker. This is Nickel. Carbone. Campbell. Against Alan Kimball. The referee says it was. And Wednesday have the chance to take the lead. Mark Cambridge will take this penalty kick. He's blasted it wide. 
that's a four penalty. Nolan. Donaldson. Breaks his man off well. Whittingham. Faced by Kimball. Carbone. Donaldson's waiting in the area. Donaldson! O'Neill Donaldson puts Wednesday ahead. Three minutes before the break. Carbone with the cross. It was helped on to Donaldson. 1 0. Walker with the free kick for Wednesday. Whittingham. Donaldson. All tipped over by Sullivan. Donaldson unlucky there. Good cross from Whittingham. Donaldson had pulled away from his man. Just over. Is Orlando Trustful for Wednesday. Keeps the ball in well. Looks for options. Still Trustful. Seems to be lining up a go himself. He does have a shot. It's in! Trustful makes it 2-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. He was on the ball and age. Looked as though he might have shot then. Decided to shoot then. Sullivan unsighted. Wednesday's defenders have a job to do here. Walker in the thick of the action. Helped on by Whittingham. Oh, this could be a break for Sheffield Wednesday. Carbone. He's got acres of space. Looks for support. Finds it now from Trustful. Trustful scores again. And having scored only once this season so far before today, Orlando Trustful, two in a match. Three now for the season. A lovely curl ball in. Trustful thought about shooting first time. Instead, checked, put it on his right foot. Well, that dramatic contribution by substitute Orlando Trustful kept Wednesday's European dream alive as the team headed off for three consecutive away fixtures. First of the Pennines, where a much depleted Wednesday team were no match for Blackburn. The Elves were 4-0 down by the 58th minute when Blinker was fouled by Flickroft. Benito Carboni stepped up to convert the penalty kick. Facing further relegation strugglers, West Ham Wednesday were on the receiving end of yet another battering. And to make matters worse, striker David Hurst was sent off. This time, Carbone's goal was the only consolation in a 5-1 defeat. An 86th-minute goal by Leicester sent Wednesday home yet again empty-handed, and by now the final place in Europe looked beyond the team's reach. John Helm caught up with David Pleat a day or so before the Liverpool match. How satisfied are you with the events of the last nine months? Well, I have to say I've spoken to the players and the majority can look themselves in the mirror for sure and say they've done as well as they can do. And I feel that uh, we have, I don't want to sound complacent, but I think we've almost maximised fully the players that we've had available. We have had over a period of the season some vital players injured for three months, like Graham Hyde, six months, John Newsom's been out this season, David Hurst missed part of the season, Guy Whittingham was out with broken ribs. So there's only two players that were ever present, hopefully Ian Nolan and Kevin Pressman. So I think it says a lot for the team spirit and the way they've worked together. I think we designed a system at the start of the season that suited the players. and. Um, I think we've done as well as we can do. I would love to uh, finish with a flourish. It may appear that we haven't done that. We certainly started with a flourish. And then we had this wonderful run, I think, where we went probably 25 or 27 games with only two defeats and a cup run as well. So um, my overall assessment is, yes, we've definitely moved some of the players or cha made changes that we needed to make and um, things have Things have gone on, and now we have to take it further. How satisfied are you with the likes of Stefanovic, and in particular Carboni? I think Stefanovic has been an example to every young player. He's only 22. 
He's met the best centre forwards, some of the best centre forwards in the world this season. Um, and he's handled them superbly well. Last year at times he looked amateurish. The whole thing was too much for him. It was though he was in a, a kind of a vacuum and he couldn't just get out. But this year he's expressed himself, he's stayed on his feet, he's used the ball wisely, he's competed well. I think Stefanovic has made massive progress. And um, Carboni is, uh, is impish, he's lively, he's got a lot of ability. He'll know next season now, having had this season's experience, of the requirements. Just sometimes gets caught in possession wanting to overdo things a little bit, but has wonderful dribbling skills, can ignite the crowd with his, with his clever, cleverness, and he's got a good shot. So we've got to get him in the team in a position that we can uh, make the most of those strengths. The chemistry's been good this season. Whatever the chemistry's been, it's been good. And, um, you know, we, 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 if we do get a couple of weeks rest in the summer, I, th I think we can look back and say it, uh, it was quite exciting. It was quite, it was quite good. We, you know, we've only lost one game at, uh, at Hillsborough, which is, which is a super record as we go into the last game. Wednesday putting some pressure on. Cleared away by the Liverpool defence. Chance here. Only just over. James, I think, had that header covered. But a good early sign of promising play from Wednesday. Liverpool breaking clear. This is Collymore. He's free. Good save from Pressman. Got his body right behind that shot from Stan Collymore because Collimore had broken free in the inside right position. Pressman was equal to the task. Thomas, long ball through. Michael Owen is through for Liverpool. Pressman again with a good save, one-handed. Good performance by the Wednesday keeper. Owen was through. Pressman just getting a hand to him. McAteer. That wide to Bjornaby. Took the cross in. Pressman came. Oh, he seems to be holding his left leg there, Kevin Pressman. Play continues, though. Owen for Liverpool. The Wednesday keeper is certainly hobbling in the penalty area. Wednesday will want to get the ball out of play as quickly as possible. It goes out for a corner. And I fear the worst for Kevin Pressman. Like it could be a bit of hamstring trouble. And on for his debut comes Matt Clark, replacing Kevin Pressman. Clark on in front of this big crowd on the last day of the season. Neil Donaldson, oh he's tripped his way past Mark Wright and Donaldson has put Wednesday ahead quarter of an hour to go, they lead 1-0 Donaldson collecting the ball nicely on his thigh creating the space and a good low shot Liverpool desperately searching for the equaliser. Barnes. Thomas has made the run. Thomas is through. Well saved by Clark. That'll boost his confidence. And running out for Liverpool. Clark has to come for this one. Gathers it. Oh, is that just outside the penalty area? Owen claims it's outside. Wednesday say it's inside the area and Clark could be in trouble here with the match official David Ellery what is the referee going to do and he sent him off Matt Clark has been on for less than 10 minutes and Wednesday have to use an emergency goalkeeper and Andy Booth will go in goal for the final minutes of this game Matt Clark, a day he'll want to forget. And Wednesday, 1-0 up, have to somehow preserve that lead with a stopgap goalkeeper. 
Jamie Redknapp will take this free kick for Liverpool and curls it in. Who's powerless to stop that one? Liverpool are level. And so the season came to an end. Manchester United had again been crowned champions and relegated from the Premiership were Nottingham Forest, Sunderland and Middlesbrough. And Wednesday finished seventh inside the top ten but just missing out on the last available UEFA Cup place. We've, we've worked a lot harder together. I mean, uh, that's probably been the main, main issue. Uh, everybody's been together and we've stuck together, defended very well and uh, like I say, uh, with, and Andy Booth coming in, he scored some good goals, uh, important goals and like I said, the team pretty much blended together. Despite your problems, the fans actually love you here. I mean, you scored the two goals on your debut at Villa and they've never forgotten that, have they? No, no, no. I think, I, think, um, I hope it's not only the two goals that they have seen. Um, to be honest, I, I love the fans as well, and I, I always get, uh, always get a, a little, a little extra response from the fans, and I really like that. Um, that's a good thing. Um, um, but the, the most difficult thing is that you can't give them anything back. You know, if they, if they love me, you want to give them something back, and that's difficult when you're not playing. But anyway, I would say next year, next season, I, I will start fresh. And, uh, and, and, and make sure the manager can't leave me out. How confident are you that you can build on this next season? Yeah, we've got a young squad and there's, there's lads on the out, outside the squad who are pushing as well, so it, it, there's good hope in the future, yeah. There aren't any easy games in the Premier League. Um, what we've got, we got to be looking at next season is to get a good cup run and, and obviously um, to finish higher in the league than what we have this year. I think Atherton, Pressman, Nolan, Tommy Booth in his first year from Huddersfield is has really settled in. Super lad as well. That's important, the type of players that we've, we've got here. Pembridge has overcome the fans' uh, reticence about his ability last year. Stefanovic has come on. Walker's had a solid season. Humphreys is emerging. So, um, lots to look forward to. A couple of new signings, perhaps. And um, I'm sure this, the sun will shine on us at the start of next season. Uh, we may not get four successive wins at the start, which is a very important base. But I think we proved more than that. I think in the middle of the season, we were the side that everyone said was beating the odds. And I still feel our final position will say quite clearly that this year, Sheffield Wednesday beat the odds.